When it comes to the island's issue of homelessness, it's about prevention, intervention, and care. The most important thing for us is to identify these families and find out what their core uh, problem is that led them to a homeless state and develop or refer them to the programs uh, that that are in existence that are that they may be eligible for. The homelessness problem on Guam is still very real and it's been agitated by the pandemic. As of Friday morning, the island's only homeless shelter, Global Dorms, reached max capacity. Office of Homelessness and Poverty Prevention, or OHAP Executive Director, Sarah Thomas Nedadog. Fortunately, there are not people, you know, outside waiting, but we know there are still people out there that have not found family members, have not been able to reconnect with someone that can take them in. And the one thing we do not want to happen is we do not want them to stay out on the streets. But time's ticking. With all 39 rooms occupied and approximately 50 adults and 60 children in the dorms, the heat is being turned up to locate and secure a second shelter. We are looking for uh, another uh, shelter if we can. And maybe there might be a couple of others. There's alternative uh sites, there's alternative housing types that we're looking at. There's there's really a, a variety of ways that we can be supportive. She says the OHAP is also looking at possibly going smaller and having multi-sites around the island so that students aren't displaced from their schools and families are in neighborhoods they're familiar with. In addition, the OHAP is hoping to establish an outreach center where homeless will have access to wraparound services within the upcoming months.